I'd like to introduce an object called live.thisdevice. Live.thisdevice is available as of Max 5.1.8 and Live 8.2.2. Here it is in a Max patch. The idea of this object is that it gives you another tool to manage the startup sequence of your Max for Live devices. It tells you when a device or device preset has been loaded, when your device has been disabled or enabled, and whether or not you are in preview mode when editing your device. You use it like you use LoadBang. I'm going to open a previously saved live set with a device that contains the exact same code as what you see here. I'll leave the max window open so that you can see what happens. The loading of my device caused three events to occur. LoadBang sent out a bang, Live.dial reported its stored value, and Live.thisDevice also sent a bang, in that order. Like LoadBang, Live.thisDevice sends a bang out of its left outlet when a device is loaded. The difference is that Live.thisDevice waits until the patcher state is restored, whereas LoadBang does not. This difference only applies in Max for Live devices. In plain Max, Live.thisDevice is the same as LoadBang. The object also sends out a bang when a device preset is fully loaded. The middle outlet sends a 0 or 1 depending on whether the device is disabled or enabled. This can be used to notify other devices, max patches, or separate applications of your device's current on-off state. The third outlet sends a 0 or 1 when preview mode for the device is disabled or enabled. When I launch the editor, preview mode is automatically enabled and the object reports a 1 in the max editor. Meanwhile, in Live's version of the device, Live.thisDevice sends a 0 to indicate that Live is not currently handling audio for the device. If I turn preview mode off in the editor's toolbar, a 0 is reported in the editor and a 1 in Live's version of the device, as it is once again handling the audio.